today's episode of Ask the Doc. Today's episode is all about enzymes. Enzymes are an amazing way of helping use less chemicals in ketchup, a great way of using less synthetic stuff. So many different kinds of enzymes. If you Google it on the internet, you're going to want to blow your head off. I'm sorry about that. However, uh, there's a lot of facts and a lot of fiction regarding enzymes. So thank you for stopping to look at the truth about enzymes. I'm going to be as quick as I can with a really complicated subject. So essentially an enzyme, a naturally occurring thing that connects with and has a chemical reaction with something else, a substrate as they call it. Essentially it's like a lock and a key. So if you think of the enzyme as the key going into a lock, it goes in, they fit each other just perfect because all enzymes are substrate specific. You can't use your house keys in your neighbor's house, trust me, I've tried. Um, sorry neighbors. Um, and they work together to do a chemical reaction. Enzymes are important both in our body to digest food, to help our blood work effectively, to detoxify our, our body. Our body runs on enzymes. And if you watched our episode that contains biomimicry, you'll know that all humans steal good stuff from nature. So we have stolen that enzyme action in, in, in cool and hot tub environments to try to use less chemicals. We can use enzymes really, really effectively to break down everything that we don't want in our water. Things like the big U, things like cosmetics, perspiration, body oil, hairspray, mascara, suntan lotions. Even bacteria can be broken down by enzymes. The challenge is the contact time, how long that chemical reaction can take. Is your body still safe during that destruction process? And all enzymes are substrate specific, meaning if I want to break down suntan lotion, I have to have an enzyme that matches that suntan lotion identically. I cannot use the enzyme that breaks down hairspray. It won't work. So you need thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of kinds of enzymes to break down the thousands and thousands and thousands of kinds of milk that we have in the pool's hot tubs. So you want to find yourself a broad spectrum enzyme. Something that has a lot of different kinds of enzymes in one little bottle. And if you don't have the right enzyme to break down the mucky bits, you need other products to break it down. Say, for example, when you're oxidizing or shocking your hot tub or using bromine or chlorine to kill bacteria. They're much more effective at those particular jobs than enzymes are. But enzymes are really, really good at naturally occurring things like expiration, like urine. Enzymes have a, a really good opportunity to help us let our chlorine or bromine actually kill the bacteria so that you can use less of them because the enzymes are doing the other job. Like, um, I don't like to mow my lawn. I can ask my partner to do that on my behalf so that I can do other things like walk the dog. Division of labor, the key to every happy relationship, both in your life outside of your hot tub as well as inside your hot tub. So with your enzymes, you want to find the dosage that's appropriate. Natural enzymes tend to be better than synthetic ones because they do more things uh, and your dosage tends to be more appropriate and more cost effective. As well, if you're using enzymes to use less chemicals, why would you use something synthetic when you should use something natural? Ta-da! So they're very, very simple to use. All you need to do is most of them are in liquid form. Look at the dosage on the back of your bottle and then just pour in the appropriate amount that you need on a weekly basis. So in this particular spot, we would use about 100 milliliters, and this is about a 1,500 liter hot tub, uh, about once a week to break down all the oily organic bits. Now this particular one is sealed really, really good, so I'm just going to keep talking while I take this off. Um, the other thing about enzymes that you want to be aware of is that they, they really do need to not go in when you're shocking your hot tub. You really need to make sure that um, they're not going to get oxidized away because they are natural products. So um, if your enzyme goes in at the same time as your shock goes in, it will be wasting your money. It, it will be lighting those little enzymes on fire and not giving you an amount of contact time it takes for them to break things down. Hang tight. I'll be right back. moment as opposed to just a app doc blooper. Um, when you're working with enzymes because they are natural products, you will know if you're buying a good enzyme by how hard it is to actually open it the first time that you're using it. Little things in here. Uh, 
Um, you need to So if you buy an enzyme at your local hot tub store or at a mass merchant, um, and it is hard, uh, if it comes right off or if the bottle is um, shrunken in any way, uh, the odds are very good that that enzyme has been breathing and releasing carbon dioxide gases uh, and is not the very best quality by the time you get home. So, as much as it was horribly embarrassing to struggle with this on an app stock segment, uh, it did allow me to tell you one little Jeopardy style tip for buying enzymes. So make sure you your enzyme well because you do want to make sure that all of your broad spectrums are naturally distributed throughout the entire bottle. And then just simply pour around this. This particular enzyme is great because it has a dosage right on the side, so I can actually measure how much I've actually put in. And that's about 100 milliliters. So that goes in once a week and helps to break down all of the oily bits and keep my water in a really clean, clean state. Keep my filter immaculately clean, so I have to clean that less. Have to clean my scum line less. And use radically less chlorine and bromine to kill bacteria. So that is an enzyme. Um, if you have any questions about enzymes in general, please do ask because this is very, very brief on a very, very big subject. And um, throw them in the comment section. Email to ask doc at and don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Well, you never know.